Day 1 in the Congo, following up on reports of dinosaurs in the jungle. Let's take a look. I spotted some brachiosaurs up over this hill. Prepare to be amazed. That confirms the presence of sauropods nearby. Now I'll have to keep an eye out for any flying reptiles. In the meantime, I guess I'll just study other forms of local wildlife. Rhinos. Pretty cool animals. They bear a resemblance to Triceratops. They seem a lot bigger up close. No sign of the pterodactyls yet. The search continues. The African jungles in Congo, a journey into the heart of Africa's most enigmatic wilderness. We embark on an exploration of the Congo rainforest, a land of ancient mysteries and untold wonders. From its towering trees to its hidden rivers, the Congo rainforest holds secrets that have captivated explorers and scientists for centuries. Join us as we delve into the depths of this remarkable ecosystem, where every corner reveals a new marvel and every creature has a story to tell. It is a vital stronghold of biodiversity, containing a quarter of the world's remaining tropical forest. This immense forest region spans southeastern Cameroon, Gabon, Republic of the Congo, and parts of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, encompassing diverse landscapes and habitats, rivers and streams. Serving as the primary water source for many local communities, the Congo River is teeming with life hosting over 700 species of fish. In addition to the Congo River, several other major waterways flow through the Congo rainforest, including the Ubangi River and the Sangha River. The Ubangi River traverses the Central African Republic and the Democratic Republic of the Congo, while the Sangha River winds its way through Cameroon, the Central African Republic and the Republic of the Congo. These rivers, with their diverse habitats and rich aquatic biodiversity, are vital arteries of the rainforest ecosystem. Moreover, the Congo rainforest is crisscrossed by countless small ear streams and tributaries, each contributing to the intricate web of life within the forest, serving as breeding grounds, feeding areas, and migration routes for wildlife. Together, these rivers and streams form a complex hydrological network that sustains the Congo rainforest and its inhabitants, playing a crucial role in regulating the local climate, supporting diverse ecosystems, and providing valuable resources for human communities. Protecting and preserving these waterways is essential for the health and resilience of the Congo rainforest. The Congo rainforest is a breathtaking tapestry of landscapes, boasting dense forests, expansive grasslands. Within this vast expanse of greenery, towering trees dominate the skyline, reaching heights of up to 70 meters and creating a vital habitat for countless species of wildlife. One of the most iconic features of the Congo rainforest is its majestic canopy layer, a dense mosaic of leaves and branches that forms a verdant roof high above the forest floor. This canopy layer teems with life, providing refuge for a myriad of birds, 
monkeys, and other arboreal creatures. It is a bustling ecosystem unto itself, alive with the sounds of chirping birds and rustling leaves. The landscapes of the Congo rainforest are as diverse as they are breathtaking, offering a glimpse into the awe-inspiring beauty and natural wonders of this extraordinary wilderness. The Congo rainforest is a botanical wonderland, boasting an astonishing diversity of plant species, many of which are found nowhere else on Earth. With over 10,000 species of plants, including numerous endemics, the rainforest is a treasure trove of botanical riches. Among the most impressive plant species are the towering trees that dominate the forest canopy. The African oil palm, for example, is a vital source of oil and food for both humans and wildlife, while the wild coffee plant provides sustenance for a variety of forest-dwelling creatures. One of the most iconic plants of the Congo rainforest is the raffia palm, known for its large, fan-shaped leaves and versatile uses. Local communities rely on the raffia palm for everything from roofing and construction materials to basket weaving and traditional crafts, making it an integral part of their daily lives. Overall, the plant diversity of the Congo rainforest is a testament to the richness and complexity of this unique ecosystem. From towering trees to delicate ferns and flowering plants, each species plays a vital role in maintaining the health and balance of the forest, ensuring its survival for generations to come. The Congo rainforest is a haven for wildlife, boasting an incredible diversity of animal species that rival any other ecosystem on Earth. With over 400 species of mammals, 1,000 species of birds, and more than 300 species of reptiles and amphibians, the rainforest is a paradise for animal enthusiasts and researchers alike. Among the most iconic inhabitants of the Congo rainforest are the great apes. Their presence in the rainforest underscores the importance of protecting this vital habitat for the survival of these endangered species. In addition to these well-known species, the Congo rainforest is home to a plethora of other fascinating creatures. The African gray parrot, known for its ability to mimic human speech, is a common sight in the forest canopy, while the colorful mandrel adds a splash of vibrancy to the forest floor with its striking facial markings. Among the more elusive inhabitants of the rainforest is the giant pangolin, a scaly anteater prized for its meat and scales. Unfortunately, this shy and nocturnal creature is facing increasing threats from poaching and habitat. Loss, highlighting the urgent need for conservation measures to safeguard its future. But perhaps one of the most fascinating aspects of the Congo rainforest's biodiversity is its incredible abundance of insects and other invertebrates. Each species plays a vital role in maintaining the health and balance of the forest, ensuring its survival for generations to come. Despite its remarkable biodiversity, the Congo rainforest is facing unprecedented threats that endanger the survival of many of its iconic species. Habitat loss, poaching, and other human activities have taken a heavy toll on the wildlife of the rainforest, pushing many species to the brink of extinction. It is important to recognize that the biodiversity of the Congo rainforest is still not fully understood, and there are likely many species that have yet to be discovered or fully documented. Protecting this incredible ecosystem is crucial, not only for the species that are already known, but also for those that have yet to be discovered. Conservation efforts aimed at preserving the Congo rainforest and its inhabitants are therefore of paramount importance. By addressing the root causes of habitat loss and poaching, implementing sustainable land management practices, and promoting community-based conservation initiatives, we can ensure that the rainforest remains a sanctuary for its unique and irreplaceable wildlife for generations to come. Even though I haven't found any pterodactyls yet, the Congo still has a lot to offer. And now, on to more wildlife. The African Lion
pretty big felines. One of Africa's apex predators. They're very sociable animals. It's astonishing how they're able to take down large prey. And now onto a few monkeys. Such agility. These animals share a portion of our DNA. Their arboreal lifestyle is pretty fascinating.
They gain nutrition by eating insects as well. It's interesting to watch them care for their young.
They possess dexterity that rivals ours. This is the Congo Rainforest, a living tapestry of life and inspiration, waiting to be discovered. Speaking of which... <coughs> magnificent creatures. Next on my list is the T-Rex. I'll have to keep my distance. Since I'm waiting for the T-Rex, I guess I can show you other giants that inhabit Africa. So large and yet so gentle. I'm amazed they can even swim, given how big they are.
Their social structure is awe-inspiring. It's been 12 hours and still no sign of the T-Rex. Maybe the T-Rex is nocturnal. That would definitely explain why I haven't seen him yet. I'm shocked it's not hunting right now. I'm starting to feel sleepy. Hopefully he shows up soon. Oh no! Velociraptors! I think I lost them. The search continues. Could that be it? I think that went pretty well. Day 3 in the Congo. I found proof of the existence of various dinosaur species here. Wait until Jerry gets a load of this.